Hello, Bill Molyneux here with another installment of Arnhem in 54mm. Well, I'm getting ready to actually play test the, uh, the Arnhem game in the, the full scenario and the bridge attack. But today's video, um, prior to this bridge attack, I'm making this video on Hand Grenades 101, the fast, simple way with 54mm figures. So the hand grenade system will not drag out a game. I need to have this game play fast. So, uh, stay tuned to see how I'm doing. Simple hand grenades, no directional dice, and let's see how it's going to play out. Alright, after some reworking of the hand grenade rules, um, we have our figure, our British paratrooper. And we're going to have a target. We're going to have a German half track, and we'll set it over there. We need our tape measure, of course. 3D6. They're big 3D6. These are my Peter dice. And that cup is our range of how much damage the hand grenade does. Now, a hand grenade is 3D6 for uh, high explosive to figures. Kills on a 4, 5, or 6 and you have to roll to hit your target. So, what I've done is our paratrooper has the ability, as a player, you'll pick how many dice you want to roll. So, depending on the distance of the target, you have to estimate, well, one die would be the maximum that would fly, would be six inches which would be here. So, two dice to get to that half track would be about 12 inches. So you'd roll 2d6. However, you can roll up to three. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna roll 3d6 and see what happens. So, here we go. And we roll the six, a two, and a three for 11 inches. So, at that distance, we will All right, I moved the camera angle. We take our tape measure, place it on the top of the helmet of our figure. And then we go out to a total of 11 inches, which is here. So our shell basically landed, our grenade landed there on the side of the half track. Um, a half track has an armor value, by the way, in my game of a six. And you'd roll 2d6 and have to get a s higher than a 6 to blow off a track. A 7 or more would blow up the half track. But you subtract 3 because a hand grenade is not very effective against armor. So, of course, that grenade did not do a thing. All right. Now, supposing that machine gun crew on this half track did not uh, fire on our paratrooper or one of those paratroopers now uh, in his fire phase, we'll say this figure here is going to throw and all we're going to do again is roll our dice and we have 11 inches. So let's see what happens this time. And we measure from the head, 11 inches. So this grenade literally drops right into the half track. So a four, five, or six kills the figures. So one figure is not hurt, one is blown up. So he's dead. 
And then let's see about the damage to the half track. It's 2d6 with a 3, minus 3. So even though the, the grenade landed inside the half track, and just a bizarre thing of me rolling a 3, um, that half track did not get blown up by that hand grenade. Um, but they did lose one figure. So that's hand grenade 101, no directional die. And the player can pick how many dice he wants to throw. Um, of course, if you're rolling, um, you know, you sort of have to estimate your range. And I'm not going to allow people to um, pre-test or pre-measure uh, their range. So that's, that's it for that. Let's pause the camera. So my next video is actually going to be play testing this entire game. I will be playing now one full turn videoed and then I'll do snippets so I won't bother and bug everyone and bore everyone. So that is the plan. I have the rapid fire scenario book for the bridge attack with the order of battle and I have enough armor and figures to do it and we'll be playing it here. And I may take it to Walt Leach's house in uh, an undisclosed location in Maryland for a play test at his house before I drag it all over to the Williamsburg Muster, February 17th, 18th, and 19th in Williamsburg, Virginia. A great little mini wargame convention. My favorite wargame convention of the year. So, stay tuned for more exciting Arnhem videos. And please um, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm very close to um, 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Stay safe. Be kind. Be courteous. And uh, give me some feedback on my crazy videos.